<laughs> well, I hope, well, I hope it wasn't like one weekend where you were like, well, which I could piss, I better record this as well. <laughs> Okay, there's there's only one sound that is that's Miguel's handgun in his bedroom. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, not yeah, that. Welcome back to Critical Banter. This is the podcast where we take the very best bits from your favorite late night shows and package them into one singular offering. On this week's episode, we'll be playing a new game called Guess That Sound as well as going through a very, very old classic segment, overrated, underrated. But before the chat of the week, we got me, Miguel. We have Cushy. Yes, sir. We have Cushy. Yes, sir. And we have Cushy, Cushy, Cushy. Yes, sir. Guys, it's the best duo. It's back <laughs> again. We, we, had, we reached out. We had a focus group. We talked about it. Uh, we right. even spoke to Sen and Ro, and there was a resounding yes for this duo to return. So Sen and Ro have left the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, they, haven't, they haven't. They haven't. You know, you don't unsubscribe yet, please. Uh, it'll be interesting question. If Senator Row did leave, could the podcast still run on us too? Could it? Uh, I reckon it could. I but reckon by it the could. end, it would just purely be recounting our Fortnite games from the week. Fortnite overrated, underrated. Exactly. <laughs> Fortnite guess that's. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. The other two have gone. Who knows? Again, who knows? They don't really tell us where they go, but- Rose took taken us, his weekly annual leave. Exactly. Weekly, <laughs> weekly leave, actually, I should say. <laughs> took us months to get a four-man podcast and back to regular scheduling us too. But and it's not like these people are going out to, you know, well, what, you, went, you went for a big break and that was because it was through, what was it? The exchange. Exactly. Um, I went on a soul searching, exactly. some might call it. This is a, this these is two that wank each other off in some fucking tent or some shit. I don't know. You know that I reckon Rose going for a chess competition. He's, he's trying to boost his elo. And I think Sen slept in. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, they're not here for a reason. Anyways, we'll, we'll crack on. We'll crack on. I've got a I've got a story that's actually sort of based off a. It was a segment I think we did a while back, but um, it was about behavior which we thought you know. Perhaps we could let our intrusive thoughts come out sometimes. Uh, well, what do we call it? Fractured, fractured thoughts. Fractured thoughts, sorry. My, fractured my finger thoughts. is no longer fractured, but yeah. oh. our, thoughts, our thoughts still are. So. Actually, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Was it unfractured a couple of weeks ago? Absolutely, mate. Oh, interesting. Quick recovery there. I think it just became a standard image in my mind. <laughs> Miguel with a little cast on his finger. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring it back. Maybe bring it back. Yeah. Another good segment. Will anyone actually find out that? Will they learn that you have a fractured <laughs> finger or not? Anyway, um, one, of, one of my fractured thoughts or intru- intrusive thoughts was people who, you know, potentially speak through the movies and I want to get up, bang, just, you know, heave left, right, you know, knock them out, <laughs> clean, clean, sweet. <laughs> I, I experienced something that was actually a lot worse. Oh, here and, we go. And this was a, a few weeks ago, but I didn't, I didn't actually bring it up. I went to watch Scream, a horror film. Um, unfortunately, when you're watching a horror film in the day, you sometimes may attract hooligans. And these hooligans are known as 13, 14 year olds with TNs wearing Nike caps, uh, Nike t-shirts and Nike phantoms, I think is what they're wearing the these phantoms, days. Phantoms, the new ones with the blue, white shoes and blue yes. at the back. Those, those little hooligans, those rap scallions <laughs> that come into the cinema. <laughs> those rat bastards. Eight of them walked in uh, already shouting and jeering while the ads were running. Um, and then- the Ad laser shouting. In the ads. In the ads, the NRMA ad, and they started screaming. Oh my God. As if to mimic it's the pretty funny, but yeah, the NRMA <laughs> ad is scary. <laughs> the, the NRMA ad, yes, one can say it's scary. The, the idea the thought that you of needing insurance. insurance. Yeah, absolutely. I understand. Absolutely. They're, of course, getting the learner's driver's license. Understandable. But then when it gets into the the this prior to the movie starting ad, which is like, guys, shut off your phone, that ad. Telstra ad. And then they start screaming in that one as well. <laughs> and it's like, okay, it's getting a little bit much now, man. Come on. Then the movie starts and the, the first kill happens. If you don't know Scream, it's pretty much just a slasher. A guy called Ghostface goes around stabbing people. That's it. First kill happens and um, I hear seven screams nonstop for at least 30 seconds. Um, being like, and there were, there were flowery words associated with it, which I will not- uh, Will not repeat on this one. I'll absolutely won't repeat. And then one person eventually was like, oh my God, can you please shut the fuck up? Like a, a person outside of this Adelaide yeah. group. Yeah. And I, I got to say, I was in the middle row. They were right at the back. So a bit better for me, but for the people in front of the, the kids, unfortunate. Um, anyway, then 15 minutes in, no kill happens. And then they all decide to leave. All eight of them 
get up and they just sprint down and you can hear the keys, the the knives and the backup <laughs> TNs are rocking in there. The vapes. <laughs> their vapes, all of them, just the mangoes and pineapples <laughs> switching with one another and they all run out. And just for a moment, there's a bit of peace. There's a bit of peace. Everyone's now, you can, you can you feel- You thought relieved. There was an air of relief. You can just feel the Zen returning to the cinema. Anyway, 35 minutes go and- they all come back. Oh my God. I don't know how they've, why they've left, why they've come back, who knows? But they all sprint right back up again. You hear, you hear the vapes, their electronic cigarettes doing their magic. And they sit back down and they begin their parade of nonsense once more. They continue their hooligan behavior. And look, I, I thought about it. I was like, I could go up. I could go up and just be like, shut up. But it didn't work. We, we, someone had already tried it. So what can I do? to make this nonsense behavior stop. Firstly, I wouldn't recommend going up. You know, <laughs> in Fortnite, you try to 1v3, that doesn't work. Exactly. Now imagine real life 1v8. 1v8. Against, exactly. you know, lads who want to scrap. That is true. Lads who want to do the hoodoos. Exactly. You do. might've heard of knife in there. You never know. You never know. Exactly. What can you do? I actually don't know. Because, you know, if I, I've been in similar situations, not mm. to this extent, but you know, there's some rowdy people. Apparently you can go and rat on them and they can get escorted out. But yeah. See, there was do, you, do you think one say event cinema's worker, that's probably 17, first job, not trying to get anything. by, you think they're going to go up and escort like eight troublemakers out? They're not going to do anything. Like the thought around, maybe I could go out, you know, speak to someone and be like, could you please get these guys out? But then it's like, nothing's going to happen. I've now wasted screen you're gonna time. You're going to miss 20 minutes of the movie just waiting for the manager. Exactly. And then, so I, there was one thought that I wish I had, Preempt, almost preempted the situation. I mean, like, I know I'm going to an afternoon horror show. I know kids rock up. It was school holidays. I, sh- I should have, un- I should have yeah, known. Should have known. And so I should have brought the ghost face mask, and I should have worn all black, and I should have put that mask on the moment they started doing something and brought yes. out a plastic knife <laughs> to scare those fools. Scare the shit out of them. That could have worked. Actually, it could have worked. You could have also got in big trouble for that. I could have. I absolutely would have gotten into trouble. But like, I did see a videos like TikToks in America where people were dressing up as ghost face in the cinema, and they just peek up from like a seat below and you just see that fucking screen <laughs> face That's just scary. watching you, which yeah. is pretty scary, mind you, in a dark yeah. cinema. Exactly. I saw a TikTok and this might apply to you. I yeah. saw a TikTok of a guy, he gets on like, um, I think the Melbourne tram or something. Mm. And there's a, like five lads on there. They have like their bikes and shit. Yeah. And then when he walks past them, he, they start like chirping up a little, like, mm. like still low key jokey, but yeah. he just starts barking at them. Oh. <laughs> like starts just barking at them and they shut up. So dare yeah. I suggest from row, what a H or whatever, start barking up to row M. They don't know, what to, I reckon they don't know what to do. I, I reckon they'll be like, oh, this is pretty weird. They might bark back. <laughs> like, yeah, that's my, yeah, I reckon. I think anything you do weird. will um, antagonize them and make the situation worse. That's, that's the problem with these sort of people. Exactly. Cause the person who was like, can you please shut up? They were like, oh, can you please shut up? <laughs> like, straight after oh, it. Shut, like, shut up, shut up, shut <laughs> up. He started literally putting on the squeaker voice. That's funny. But- <laughs> it's like, it is class, but it's like, please try to if watch If you wanted that to watch a movie, it would be funny. Yeah, it would have been funny. Yeah. It would have been funny. Anyway, they left like 45 minutes. In. Oh Again, God. they left and they never came back. So at least yeah. the last, the second act of the film I enjoyed quite thoroughly. So when they left that second time, were you just anxious the whole time? There, there was like 10, 15 minutes in. I'm like, oh, they're going to come back, aren't they? I reckon that might've been their play, you know, just to fuck with you guys. <laughs> just, <laughs> they'll come my- back for a bit and then they'll leave and then they'll know the rest of the movie. A lot of views will be like, shit, they're going to come back. It would have been disappointing if they came back in a second act, especially when it starts to escalate, the kills are there. No, I wouldn't have enjoyed it. Deep in the story. I wouldn't have enjoyed it. Maybe that's something for me next time, you know, whatever film I'm watching, and I know it will attract this kind of crowd. I have to mimic Two options, yeah. either like A, I start b- b- barking at them like crazy, or B, I try to get like a costume from the Plastic film. knife. Plastic knife, you know? Just dress up as ghost face every time I go to a film. Exactly. <laughs> you guys out there, let us know what we should do. Yeah, let us know, let us know. All right, something that happened to um, all four of us actually mm. this, this past week. So it was, um, it was for Sen's birthday. We went out for Sen's birthday, but his birthday was a month ago. A delayed, very delayed. Senny, mate, <laughs> plan like, you know, plus minus one week, a- I'll give you. A- belated? Doesn't work more than a week, I say. It honestly doesn't. Exactly. Can't do you know, preemptive, I'll give, maybe a bit more because yeah. you put some thought into it. Because at what point can you go? You could be like three months in being like, oh yeah, I'm doing something for my birthday. Man. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe next week I'm doing something for my 22nd birthday. Yeah. You know what I mean? I identify it as my 22nd birthday <laughs> exactly. celebration. <laughs> Anyways, last week uh, we went out for Korean barbecue oh. drinks and karaoke. Um, but at Korean barbecue, there was about 15 odd. Yeah. 16 odd. Um, so we were split into two tables, but you know, next to each other. Mm. But they weren't um, 
two big tables I won't touch it. So there's a gap between us, right? You can't move the tables exactly. as well. You can't you move can't it. Move. So I was on the edge of one table. Kush was then on the end of another. So, yep. you know, space between us, but we can still talk and whatever. Yeah. Um, but the people on my table, we were on that table because we got there a bit late, you know, 15, 20 minutes late, which is okay, whatever. Um, but obviously cream barbecue, you got to cook your own food. So mm. Kush's table has ordered their own raw meats, et cetera. They've ordered it, they're, they're cooking, whatever. Yeah. And then they say to us, look, here's a, you know, here's the code QR code for the table, scan that order for the table um, and then the food will come. Mm. So we order our food and then, you know, 20 minutes in, we're like, my table's like, brother, we ordered a couple Is of raw food? meats. Yeah. How long does it take to literally give us raw food, yeah. right? And then we look over and then we see on Kush's table, the far <laughs> side of Kush's table, they just have plates of meat. Yeah, like they've cooked. They're like they what they're cooking is full. Like their grill plate is so full that they have just plates of meat on the side just waiting. We're like, hang about, yeah. that's ours, right? And then um, so a bit of malarkey, mm. but uh, we order a bit more and then we eventually get some. But then Rohit, Rohit, <laughs> the scoundrel, what did he do? Has a fantastic idea of complaining to the to the restaurant <laughs> that we've never received any of our food. <laughs> Right, so he gets he gets the receipt. Mind you, that it's the same QR code between both tables, right? <laughs> so, like, it's so obvious. So he goes up to him and he's like, "Look, hey, uh, we've ordered this and we haven't received it, right?" And then obviously the poor worker is looking at it and is like, "Oh, like, you guys have received most of these items, right? Like the items you guys ordered. Yeah. So like you've received most of these, right?" It's like, I don't, I don't remember ordering that. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, oh, you guys are the same table, like pointing to you and I. And then Ray's like, no, I don't know them. I don't know. Them. <laughs> Meanwhile, the past fucking hour, Kush and I have been talking. Ray and Kush have been talking. I've been talking to my missus that's on that table. We've all been exchanging. You guys have been passing us soju and water and everything. What do you mean, Ro? <laughs> Not the same table. So this poor work is obviously so confused. She gets the manager. <laughs> yeah. I and then the this. manager comes. And still talking to us and like, she knows, right? She knows that we're the same table. Yeah. It's like, you guys are the same table, right? You, your food's over there. And then Rohit's like, no, not, not, same, not the same table. We haven't ordered this, <laughs> right? And then the worker goes to Kush. Then she goes to the other person, Jeffrey. We'll Just call Jeffrey, Jeffrey, goes to Jeffrey. Jeffrey. And Jeffrey supports her. He's like, yeah. no, no, I don't know these yeah, guys. Yeah, and then I'm talking to like, um, oh, Triple Cheese. I'm talking to Triple Cheese <laughs> Triple next Cheese to me. is there as well. And then I'm saying, oh, bro, I'm not playing. I'm not, I'm, not, um, I'm not paying this because it's so hard. This is so hard to pay yeah. that I'm just going to sit out. And if it was easy, you know, separate receipts, whatever, then maybe I'll play along. It's just them. the fact that they know they'd booked three separate sections for us. They were yeah. there and you can't move them. So it's so obvious. It's that so it's obvious. I'm, I'm not going to play this. Like it is what it is, whatever. And then Jeffrey is like, yeah, we don't know them. We don't know them. And then, and then what happened after that? She went to me and was just tapping me on the shoulder while I was talking to another person to my left. And then she was like, oh, do you know these guys? I'm like, yeah. 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 We're, we're all booked together. Because I didn't know there was some yeah, joke. Yeah, so was minding his own business and decides <laughs> to tell the truth, which fair enough. So, yeah, yeah, we know them. And yeah. then Ray's just like, like Kush, <laughs> yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> and I was like, I'm so confused. What are you guys trying to do anyway? And then anyway, I'm like to Jeffrey and Ray, I'm like, yeah, we were all, all, all three, even that empty table to the far <laughs> right, that's also booked for us, but no one's here. Yeah. I was just telling them the, the truth. And then she was like, oh, okay, no, no, that's all good. And the manager just left. She just yeah. immediately left. And then and then they came back and then they were like, oh, like your food, you know, cause your one table will get brought to like yeah. your table or my table, whatever. And then we had to do the whole, Oh, oh, right. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a stupid moment. Because so, how could you, it's the same receipt. Everything yeah. on the same receipt. We clearly have been talking to each other <laughs> this whole time. And we somehow also had food from your table. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. after all, we're like, we haven't got any food and you guys were like, oh, here's some food we, we aren't able, we haven't been able to cook yeah. yet, just take it. So it's food that was higher up on the receipt <laughs> that we weren't pointing out as ours. So Rohit, how do we get that mate? How how do we get our hands on this mystery meat? Sometimes, you know, that 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 I remember that story that Roy told about integrity with the Whopper stuff and he's like, I'll vow from that day I'll never I'll never This man has zero integrity. <laughs> it's it's worse than that. Like this is this is the baseline. It doesn't work whatsoever. In any world, in any multiverse, this situation would not fly. But instead he tries it. He tries it because the man has negative integrity. <laughs> That's so, what he has. It's so stupid. <laughs> Even that that night though, what what actually what happened after we went to like a bar? And for 40 minutes, Ro, myself, and two others were doing bottle flips. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> so stupid. I was panicking because my phone was missing for about Your phone was gone minutes. as well, yeah. And someone went up to me and was like, just give Mig's phone back. I was like, what the fuck? 
I didn't have his phone. Like, why would you assume it was me? <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that bar was just bottle flipping. I don't know why we did that. We had two bottles. We, we were two trying bottles. to get the, the double flip, you know, two and one. Yeah, look, it was a class, class moment for me. <laughs> 40 minutes just spending flipping bottles. That's it. Absolutely. Good, good night. You have a good night? I had a good night. Great I had night. a good night. I didn't go to karaoke, but well, I you know, you could end it there. You could have ended then, you know, call it a great night. I was fine. I was Lovely. fine. Love to hear it. <laughs> New game this week, fellas. It is called Guess That Sound. There is no sound that I'm kidding. It's as simple <laughs> as the name suggests. I have curated. I've gone and handpicked. I have gone and found about 10 sounds. Okay. I'm going to play them to you at home. You can play at home. Mm-hmm. Play them on the mic. Play them with Kush. And he just simply has to guess what that sound is. Okay. But I would like you to be as specific as possible. Yeah. Right? So I'm so not versing anyone. It's just me and me It's me, me versus you actually. If you get more than half, you okay. beat me. That is, if I've okay. tomfooleried you, fooled you with yeah. these, I win. Oh, this, this could go anywhere. I feel like these sounds could be as small as like a water droplet or it could be as exactly. like niche. Oh, exactly. man, this could be tough. I this want you tough. to be as descriptive as you can. And okay. then if, well, if I hear, if I like what I hear, I'll give you, right, I'll give you right. a point. Say less. Ready, crack on? Let's do it. Right, first one. That is our first sound of the day. Interesting. Okay. It feels like something's being cut, like something hefty is being cut here. My mind's going straight to like a a big a big hedge or a bush being cut by shears, potentially. You reckon I'm going out there <laughs> <laughs> doing some gardening yeah, you- and also recording <laughs> whilst I- Yo, yeah, dad, do you mind cutting those, <laughs> those bushes again? I need it for content. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you brought the mics as well, not just through your phone. Exactly. I double did a couple of takes as well. Did a couple of takes. Oh, this one is. Do you mind playing it for me one more time? I'll play. I'll play it again. This this sounds like a cut. Like your, I don't know, the big cut of the shears, or potentially you're walking in, like a puddle. Not a puddle, but like there's fifty dead leaves, and you stepped into those dead leaves potentially. I like Something has been crunched or seen. cut here. Crunchy. Am I am I correct in that assumption? Something's been correct. You are cold. Cold. <laughs> You're very cold. Are you serious? Would you like a hint? Yeah, give me. <laughs> I thought I had it. <laughs> uh, what what hint shall I give you? Um, I did it in the comfort of my own home. I didn't have to go out. Oh, hold on. I think I may know what this is. I I, I will say potentially there's a, there's a difference in sound quality when it's your .dot wav files and .dot mp3 files here, you guys. I am an audio file, so I'm going to say this is potentially the the little popping of the the bubbles. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. I'm thinking. What are you locking in? I want to go with bubble wrap popping. I could little yeah. Well, Kush, this is me pulling tissues from a tissue box. Come off it. Are you serious? What kind of tissue box is this? Man, it's a classic t- full tissue box. Are you serious? You pull it out through when it goes through the little plastic sheets. I've never, my tissue box are like the soft. <laughs> so there's no sound. It just comes out. When you pull it a little hard, there's a sound. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. We'll wow. go. Okay. Uh, one nil to me. I've yeah. fooled you there. All right. We'll go with the next one. This this is I think there's only one way. It, it's such a distinct sound. That's, well, what are you thinking, Kush? It's ambience to ourselves. Our nine to five, our work <laughs> life, the Fortnite on the PC potentially. <laughs> this has got to be your WASD. I'm going to say your keyboard. Locking in keyboard. I'm locking in WASD. No, no, not WASD. We're <laughs> locking in keys. I'm locking in keys. Kush, I'm very disappointed. What? This is the PS5 X button. We're gonna play it this again. This is a controller, Kush. I thought you'd know this. I thought every day this is something you do. That doesn't sound like the controller at That's all. That's the controller on the table and just pressing the X button. Interesting. That, these sounds are all heightened because obviously when I'm playing, my, I've got a headset. No, you've got a headset. Yeah. That, is fair. that is fair. It does sound like a keyboard to be fair. That is that is true. Yeah. It's close. You're close, but- Half a point. Half. I'll give, fine, <laughs> I'll give you half a point. You got, you got a key tapping. All righty, next one. That's it. You want to play it again? One more time, one more time. Okay, it's a beep sound. What that beep sound, it belongs to a device in this household. Oh, this one, I'll give you that, is not in this household. Oh my This God. is one I've gone out into the wilderness and um, captured a very iconic, very iconic um, beeping sound. 
Iconic. Okay, because I my, very iconic to you. Uh, okay, I, I think there were two options. The first one was potentially a microwave beep sound. You know, when you hit the one button, do the yeah. beep sound. Or well, the second one was the doors opening of a train or a bus. If you don't mind playing for it one more time for me. Is that a door? Is that a train door? Or is this a scanning of an item when you're at a Woolies cashier or like a cold, you know, at the belt? One more time, one more time for me. Please. Do you want me to give you a hint? Yeah, give me a hint. Give me a hint. You would have heard this twice today. I can guarantee you would have heard it twice today. Then, well, I've taken the train today, so and I, 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 you know, I, I think it's got to be the train. The door's opening, right? The sound of the door's opening, or, or like the sound where the door sh- is about to open. So I'm going to say yes. It's that. Is that what you're locking in? I'm locking in. Kushagra, Kushagra, Kushagra. It is the sound of tapping on your Opal card. What? That is not the sound. It of absolutely op- is the sound of an Opal card. This is difficult. I've never paid attention to the sound of an Opal card tap. Oh, wow. I the- thought this would have been your bread and butter. You're a public transport merchant. <laughs> yeah, but there's also a beep when the doors open, you know? it's like yeah, I feel like it's a different beep. Yeah, it's a continuous it's one. It's a continuous. So- this is a one-off. Uh, a- I thought you may have tap. cropped it. <laughs> <The> sound bite. <laughs> no crop. It's harder than- harder This than- is actually difficult. This uh, is very maybe difficult. Maybe I'll play some, some sounds that are more yeah. close to home. So I played a tune, yeah. <laughs> a little a little soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a what great you, score, a wonderful <laughs> score. <laughs> what are you thinking? I think this is the home screen of the old PlayStation Five when you've booted that up. And no, actually, no, it's the PS Four. I think. I think it's the PS Four. It's the PS. Oh shit! I gotta know which device it is. It's definitely the PlayStation boot up sound. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. it is a PlayStation. It's welcome not the screen. five. It's not the five. Actually, can you make? The five sound for I, us, please. No, the five is, it's not a continuous one. It's just like one tone and that's it. I think this is the four. What are you locking in? I'm locking in the four. Well done, Kush. Oh. It is the PS4 welcome screen music. Whew. For that's, a second, I was worried it was the third generation. Uh, oh, I wouldn't have done you like that. <laughs> PS4 sound is a sound that is home to us. It is home to Comforting. us. Comforting. Absolutely. All righty, next one. Would you like me to play it again? Yeah, play one more time for me. My head's going to popcorn popping, but I don't think that's it. Is this another home sound? This is a home sound. I'll give you a hint. I could not do this sound. I needed to um, hire a uh, supporting Ooh. supporting person to- Ooh, um, Okay. Someone's tapping, I think. To get Ooh. this sound. Is this, is this potentially a doge? A doge's footsteps. Well, I can't give you more on the floor. Than that. Could you play one more time for I'll me? I'll play it one time. more time for you, Kush. Oh, it sounds like someone's doing the old pit pat situation here, you know, with a foot. I my yeah, my head went to a keyboard, but it's too the sound is almost too thin for a keyboard. It's not heavy. There's no depth of a of a key. Yeah, exactly. I I think this is to do with someone doing a, a little left right movement extremely fast. I'm gonna go it's a it's a dog pit patting on a on a wooden floor. <sighs> not quite, Cushy, not quite. Oh, this is, is my this? girlfriend's acrylic nails tapping on the table. Acrylic na- oh, Fake nails. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. I feel like the dog's claws could uh, mimic that sound. I was a good like, shaft yeah. for you because when Ollie's nails are a bit long and he's Peter pattering on the yeah. on the floor. It sounds very similar. It sounds Close. Very similar. Close, but um, no cigar. Alrighty, next one. This is tough, man. <laughs> well, I hope uh, I hope it wasn't like one weekend where you were like, "Well, which I could piss, I better record this as well." <laughs> so that's the sound. It, there's water involved. There's a liquid involved here. There is. And the water is falling into some kind of mechanism. Now the question is, is it, did you actually record yourself taking a piss? Because for the, for those, actually you should all be familiar with this sound when you're a male and you're pissing. Sometimes you, you like to go around the water <laughs> or sometimes you like to dabble in the water, which emulates that sound. Absolutely. Could you play it one more time? Cause I'm thinking a bucket. Or- I'll play it one more time for you.
Yeah, the water is going in somewhere. I think it is. I don't think you've just turned the tap on. Because if you turn the tap on, I'd be concerned. That water doesn't sound too uh, healthy. <laughs> the tap going on. Bath, maybe. Maybe. It could be a bathtub. But I don't think it's the bathtub. It the sounds. Bucket. I'm thinking it's the water going into a. Ooh, nah. I'm going to say it's a water going into a bucket, potentially. Like you've turned the tap on, the water's now falling. So the into bucket, a bucket is under the tap, is what you're saying? Under the tap, yeah. Because it seems to be a bit of like almost a bounce off the sound. It's not just landing oh, somewhere. So the water, so do you think it's an empty or a full bucket? Or like already water in the bucket? I think there's already a bit of water in the bucket. So it's splash against it, also the side. Yeah. Kush, that's me taking a piss. <laughs> Okay, so I'm technically right. I'm no, te- it's yeah, I'm technically no. The water is going into something that's already. But it's not filled. from a tap. <laughs> it's from my. Did you actually record? Yourself? I went last <laughs> night and waited for myself to need to go for a piss, oh my God. and I recorded my. I don't think you were capable of doing such. You an want action. me to play you the whole sound? Yeah, play the whole sound. Go on. <laughs> You can hear the full movement from from the first dude. There's like a third second where just all comes out. (laughs) This fast motion, and then then there's a little trickle cleanup. Then there's the pants going up on the zip. (laughs) Then the flush. (laughs) Oh, that's class. That is a class. Do you have one of you taking a shit as well? Uh, I can't confirm or deny. <laughs> Anyways, we'll we'll move on to the next sound. Okay, there's there's only one sound that is that's Miguel's handgun in his bedroom. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do not own any firearms. Thank you very much. It, it is a gun, and if you notice, it's a recording of a gun. You can you can almost hear that the sound is it's at a distance. It's not it's not as fresh as the the pissing. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's your. That first was a hit. fresh sound. That was a very fresh sound. It was too clear fresh for my sound. liking. <laughs> this one, yeah, it's definitely a recording. You're playing back, and it's a gun. It's a gun in Fortnite. Which gun is it? Let's hear it one more time. I think this is the pump shotgun in Fortnite or it's a handgun, but I'm gonna go with the pump shotgun first. That's what I'm locking in. Locking in pump shotgun? Pump shotgun. It's Fortnite. the handgun, Kush. Oh, I, it's it was one of those cannon. two, yeah. That's, that's unfortunate. You're getting close, I like it. You're getting close. All righty, we have a few more. Okay, it's the crunch or something. I will blissful. give you a point if you get close to the what it was. The brand, <laughs> no, not branch, the item. It's 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 a crunch in the mouth. We all know that. It's what it is though. I'll give you. A hint. It's not. Uh, it's not a chip. Yeah, I was about to say this is more. It's not a chip that you buy from the shops. Like it, you can get in a pack just start eating. It's definitely. I was about to say this is. It's more deceiving than it sounds. You know, even when you're on like the PlayStation mic, you can hear. You, your mind always goes for a chip, but it's not. It's, it's, never it's a always chip. a, what are you eating, Kush? Yeah, it's and then it's all, and I, it's always something else. It's always something else. And the fact that you had to almost take a heavy bite first, then proceed to break it down into smaller bits means it's, I don't think it's a chip. Good. Large item. It's a large Correct. item. I'm thinking it's either a biscuit or some kind of chocolate, like a chocolate bar. You think a chocolate has that crunch that. I think like the heavy Kit Kats, those ones, like Kit Kat Crunchy. That is a shout. That Absolutely shout. does. Let's hear it one more time. We'll though. hear one it more one more time. It's that first crunch where it's it's not, it almost sounds like a- Would you like me to give you the color of the-, of the Yeah, item. give me the color of that. Pink. Item. Pink. Pink item. Kit Kat Crunchy come in pink? No, it doesn't. Unfortunately not. I don't think this is chocolate then, because I don't think chocolate, I don't know any chocolate that comes in pink, actually. I don't think this is your Maltesers berry, flavor, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> if there is one. Um, okay. It's got to be a biscuit or like some kind of wafer, wafery kind of thing. Biscuit in pink. 
It's not a Volvo biscuit, <laughs> the one with the fairy floss. It's not an ice Volvo, I'll tell you that much. I'm trying to think what you eat as well. That's what I'm trying to put to, put to my hand. Like a snack that you'd eat. It's pink. Can you get this in a supermarket? Final hint. Yeah. It's from a restaurant. <gasps> okay, I think I know what this is. Go is on. it a prawn cracker? It absolutely is a prawn oh, cracker. Oh, let's, hear, let's hear that one more time. It's that first one. You know, there's death to it. Because yeah, a prawn cracker. cracker is big, so you got to yeah. bite into it and then you can sub. I like that analysis. You got to yeah. break it down after that. Exactly, yeah. All righty, we have three more. I think the last part gave it away. It would have been perhaps a better sound. A challenge if it was just the first part. First part. Because mm. my mind was potentially going to that, but also like the scanning of an item at a cashier belt. That's true, that's true. But this is the pedestrian light when you're about to cross. So it absolutely is this. In fact, it hits green at the end. Where exactly, you're, you're waiting, you're waiting patiently and then mm -hmm. green, you get Off to you cross. go. All righty, we will go second last one. <laughs> what? Want to play it again? Yeah, that was so quick. One more time, one more time. This is a sound I know you know. What is that? This is a sound I know you know. Like there is something coming to mind, but like I, it doesn't sound like that. What, what's coming to mind? The Fortnite death sound. <laughs> I don't think it's that. It sounds, what? Or is it potentially the ball entering a hoop in the NBA? Or a ball entering the net in FIFA, potentially. How do you get this sound? By? <laughs> Play one more time. One more time. What? A sound I know. It's got to be, I want to guess it's a video game. Would I be right on that assumption? You'd be correct. Okay. And now it's about which video game it is. Oh, I don't think this is the Fortnite death sound. The Fortnite death sound is really distinct. What is the Fortnite death sound? Like, doo -doo -doo. is that? <laughs> no, no, okay. I, I don't think it's not the Fortnite death sound. If it is something that I've heard, that it's got to be another video game, which I'm going to say is NBA or FIFA. Would I be correct in either of those choices? No, you wouldn't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? What is this sound? I'm actually lost. What I other don't... games? What other games do I know that you have played? That I know that you have played. We've because you could play some musty game, and I don't know what it is, so I, that wouldn't be included. But this is a game I know for a fact you've played. It's got to be. It's Fall Guys or Among Us. One of those two. I feel. No. What other game I play? You haven't played. I never said I haven't played okay. it. I never said that. Well, all the other ones are single player ones, so I don't. There is a crucial game you're missing here, Kush. Is it COD? It's COD, is it? Okay, interesting. What card game? What sound is this? Is it when you die in Warzone or when you? No, it can't be that. What is this sound? I'm gonna lock in. I'm gonna lock in. Is it's when you when you die in Warzone? You know, what? I'll give it to you. It's when you down someone in Warzone. When you down, okay. the downed sound in Warzone. Right. Okay. 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 Interesting. I'll, I, I'll, I'll play it again. Let me yeah. see if now that you know the context, if yeah. you can relate. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it now. Okay, this was a common sound for us for a couple of exactly, months. Back exactly, in the days. absolutely. Yeah. All right, last sound for the day. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? What Will we play that? it again? Yeah, play it again. Something is being ripped or torn apart. Whether that's your asshole or a piece of paper, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I, this sounds like a piece of paper being ripped apart, but it feels too far away, potentially. This, would I be correct in saying it's a, something being torn or ripped apart? Not torn or ripped apart, no. Wow, this is deceiving, man. These sounds are deceiving. Mm. Is this another household one? It is a household one. Whether it's in the bathroom or not. <laughs> I'm like, was this or... you? To decide. Sneezing or farting or taking a shit or ripping one <laughs> massive one out. I don't know. Right, Would I be correct that this is something that happens in the bathroom? 
It is not something that happens in the bathroom, luckily. Ah, oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> Play one more time for me. One more Play time. One more time. This is hard, man. Is this a common sound? It is a common sound, I would say. What? It is a kitchen sound. I'll give you that hint. Something that happens in the kitchen or the pantry or the dining table. One of them. Oh my days. This is, if you listeners can yeah, figure this out. Yeah, the people at home, if you're screaming out that you know what this is and Kush doesn't, that's unreal for me. I'll give you that. Uh, this one feels difficult. I actually, I'm not entirely sure about this one. If it's something in the kitchen, it's not you taking out. It's potentially something that's on or a repetitive sound that, you know, are you blending something maybe? The blender? No, what is it? No blending. You give up? I give up. I don't know. It is squeezing a nearly empty sauce bottle. See when he starts squeezing oh, it and it starts like wheezing. Oh yeah, that's the sound. Interesting. Yeah, that that definitely works. I would have never thought of that. That yeah, is that fair. is good. That is good. All right, so Cushy score got you got the Sydney Crossing sound, mm. the PS4 Welcome screen yep. music, the Warzone Down sound. Did you get the hand cannon? No, nah, I got yeah, a pump then. shotgun. You got the prawn cracker with plenty of help. Mm. That's. Four you and a half. You didn't I get got... me. You didn't get me pissing. No, I got. If any of you at home got me pissing, that's class. So, because you got four and a half out of eleven. So, if you guys beat him, let us know, um, and we will play more pissing sounds. For you. <laughs> Calling all men! Exclamation mark. It's time to mind your manholes with Manscaped. Mm -hmm. Everyone's aware by now that nose hairs are a major turnoff. That's why Manscaped upgraded to their brand new Weed Whacker 2.0. With improved blades and motor, you can feel the power of nasty nose hair annihilation in the palm of your hands. This improved Weed Whacker can be found in their performance package 4.0 for no additional cost. Our friends over at Manscaped are helping you enjoy spring's air, fresh air, by using the Weed Whacker 2.0 from all your face whole hair. We love the Weed Whacker 1.0, which we have on the screen, um, but this thing is an absolute upgrade. The premium Manscaped Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear hair trimmer uses a powerful 7,000 RPM motor with an improved steel blade system that upgrades the cutting performance from the first generation to better whack your weeds. Kush, I see no weeds in your nose or your, show me your ears. Nothing. No weeds, no weeds. Nothing. I'll tell you that, what, is that testament to? Testament to the fantastic 2.0 with its RPM just destroying everything exactly. that's inside. That's lovely. And where can the, the listeners get it? Well, they can get it at manscaped.com. They can get it there. Absolutely. And all you got to do is actually, it's as simple as this. And correct me if I'm wrong. You just add them to your cart. Correct. And then you just go to checkout and Absolutely. you buy it. It gets delivered to your address. Done. Whilst you are correct and could do that, Kush, but there's a better way. There's always, but we always have better ways for you to do things, Kush. So yes, you add it to the cart. Yep. When you're in checkout, hold on. Take a step back. You okay. see a little bar that says discount code. Oh yeah. Or coupon code. Yeah. Three letters, TCB, you pump that in. Just like that, 20% is off. Oh. Right, 20 percent off your the price that you see. You go continue to check out. You put in your address, your yeah. delivery address. You expect shipping to be, you know, five, ten dollars for express dollars? shipping. Yeah. Free. Zero additional cost to ship when you use the code TCB at manscaped.com. So you can get your hands on the fine performance package 4.0, weed whacker 2.0. Lawnmower 4.0, you can get all these ball deodorants, ball toners, anything you want. Use code TCB, 20% off and free shipping. We are back again with overrated, underrated. I don't want to claim it as an original segment, but it is a classic segment mm. of this podcast. For those of you that don't know the game or the segment rather, we I will toss up some things. Um, and Kush and I have to decide whether we think they're overrated or underrated. So today's one, I will have all the things uh, and there's no perfectly rated, just to put it out there. So even yep. if you think what item X is perfectly rated, you got to give mm -hmm. an idea as to why it might potentially be slightly overrated or underrated. Yep. Ready to crack on? Let's do it. All right, the first one is, are lemon lime bitters overrated or underrated? So we had a, a seminal chat. We dissected the non-alcoholic beverages mm. at the aforementioned Korean barbecue. Yep. And I do believe there was there was discourse around lemon lime bitters being potentially at the top yep. of all non-alcoholic drinks. It is. It is for a fact. It absolutely is. Lemon lime bitters is, 
God, it it has the perfect fizziness, but it also has the taste the associated taste. with it as right. well. And it's not it's not overpowering. Like sometimes with Cokes, those other fizzy drinks, they get way too overpowering. So, what's a perfect lemon lime bitters for you? How does it? How is it made? Because you can get ones that are in a can already in a bottle. Nah, the made. perfect one is where you get the separate ingredients. You get your syrup. You get your little soda water, and then you soda water. Oh, yeah, that's but whatever that one. No, that people is. make it with soda water, or they make it with Sprite. Yeah, I do soda water, the fizzy, the fizzy soda water, that right. kind of one. And then yeah, the syrups, get the ice cubes going, get a bit of lemon in there. Class, man, that and is the, class. Was it Angostura? The, a, the Angostura, <laughs> that's the one. Those on top. I think lemon lime bitters are severely overrated. Wow. So I did not contribute to that chat earlier in the yeah. week, and that's why I will stake a claim here. So for context, every mm. Wednesday night. Me, Rose, said we have football training. Yeah. Right? And then afterwards, we go to the pub. Okay, fair enough. And then, um, you know, me, Rose, said we're not really, you know, weekday drinkers. Yeah. So they're always climbing on or about, let's get a lemon lime bitters, let's get a lemon lime bitters, right? And everyone's frothing it. Everyone, you know, after football, first sip, everyone's like, this is fucking unreal. And I'm like, I'd rather like a, a Coke Zero here, a Diet Coke. You know, when I walk in and I pour myself some ice cold water, that is more refreshing to me than a lemon lime bitters. And then on top of that, when I go to, I'm not saying it's it's bad, yeah. but when I go to a pub or something, right? Or I go out for a drink mm. and I want to get something non-alcoholic, I'm not frothing a lemon lime bitters. Like everyone is frothing, you know what I mean? Yeah, so what, what is your go-to non-alcoholic drink then? Honestly, Coke like a Coke or a Sprite, like just classics, Fanta, water. So you think they are taste-wise? I think they're on par. Interesting. I don't okay. think lemon lime bitters, cause it's relative to how you rate it, how the general of public course, rate it. Yeah. Lemon lime bitters is on this pedestal where it's like goat tier, the drink. I think let's humble ourselves. Let's take a step back. And I think it's on par with all other like soft drinks. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna disagree with that. I think lemon lime bitters is, is the peak. And the reason why is- Do you think it's underrated? I-, I... Because <laughs> I would clamor that like you go to some restaurants, yeah. places, they don't offer lemon lime bitters. They don't because it's just disgusting. It's a very scarce commodity. <laughs> it's, an, it's the nectar from the gods. So that's why it's a class drink. The reason why is because when you when you say Coke Zeros and whatnot, the fact that there's so many substitutions, Coke, Pepsi, Pepsi Max, Coke, no sugar, Coke, vanilla Coke. That's true. Coke, lemon raspberry. Lime, lemon Lime Bitters is a standalone. It, it feels like Lemon Lime, there is no substitute for Lemon Lime Bitters. It's just, that's it. And I think that's what makes it extremely unique, first of all. And then the second of all, the taste difference is quite, it is like, it, it is clear. It's clear as day as night mm. between the others. And yes, it's, it is definitely a personal thing. You might just not like the, the angustra popping through your-, your no, I, I liked it. I, I, li- I like yeah. it. And I loved it when I first tried it, but I just don't think it's worth all the commotion and the hype. Because it is the same price when you're at a pub. Sometimes it's more. Well, like 50 cents to a dollar more. That's Mate, it. And when you're ordering like two <laughs> or three, that adds up. $3 that could, that could more get you max. Another, that could get you another Coke Zero. It could, it potentially could. Um, lemon Lime Bitters also doesn't come in a can. I don't think so. I believe it, not a can. It comes in a, a bottle, 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 yeah. glass bottle, glass pre-mixed. Bottle. It's not the same, is yeah. it? Yeah. No, here's the thing. If, I, if I'm at a, a pub and I want to get Lemon Lime Bitters and if they're giving me one that's already like in a bottle. Like a Bundaberg bottle. No, nah, nah, I don't want that. I you want you like to it? make it. You want to make yeah, it. You want it in a glass. You want to see the bitters put on top. Absolutely. I you don't want a pre-mixed it. orange Light orange um, liquid. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> no, not a chance. No, nah, there's something special and unique about the when they do it in made. front of you. It's, gotcha. There's a clear difference as well in taste. But the reason why I put it above the others and why I'll say it's underrated, which it, I know you preface nothing is perfectly rated. Lemon lime <laughs> is perfectly rated. <laughs> is because it's first of all so unique. There is no substitution. And the taste difference is clear as day and night for me. Fair enough. Respe- respectfully, I think it's severely overrated. Next. Are the Lakemba Ramadan night markets overrated or underrated? So context. Just finished. I just finished actually, Eid yeah. Mubarak to everyone Mubarak. out there. So the Ramadan night markets in Lakemba, are the, they've become famous now. Mm. Over the years they've grown in popularity. They're the night markets that run during the Ramadan on like the main street in Lakemba. Yep. Um, and then, you know, people have stalls to sell food. Um, Correct. Drink, whatever for iftar. So when you break your fast at night, it just runs from like, cause it's during like daylight saving summer. So probably like six, seven. Six till like- Until like, like generally like 1 a.m. I, I think it's, I think it might be even longer because they start fasting 
You have to start fast before five thirty, I think. For sunrise. For sunrise, so it could be between five thirty. You know, until really late in the night. Yeah. And recently, it's become very, very popular. Between the year-on-year year growth is exactly the yoy. The yoy is unreal, and then <laughs> the Muslims and non-Muslims alike are now flocking towards. Some um, will say potentially more non-Muslims. So I mean, it's it's heavy on the food influencer mm. Instagram reels and TikToks these days. I so, did see just quietly one one influencer that posted four videos of things that I ate at the Lakemba markets. Four. Four is like. A, First of all, you probably, if you did that all in one night. <laughs> Fucking class power work. to you. Yeah, class work. Your shit in the next morning must have been unreal. You must have paid so much money, first of all, for like just a bite and then leaving it out. Did you go this year? I didn't go this year. I was didn't. planning to. Um, and I think there's, there's a couple of reasons to dissect this. I think it is overrated. I think like the markets are overrated. I agree. And the reason why is because the price associated with too much variety is what brings it down for me. And so the last year, and I'll, I'll run you through my experience quickly at Lakemba Market. So last year I went with a couple of peeps. One of them was a veteran. He knew the stalls back to front. He knew exactly where oh, to Nye go. Oh, Nye Market's veteran. Yeah, Nye Market's veteran. Not an army veteran. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Nye gotcha, Market's gotcha, veteran. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. We could be an army veteran. Yeah, I haven't yeah, really yeah. asked him that. <laughs> you never know. Maybe, maybe on the side. <laughs> maybe, potentially. Um, he knew the stalls back to front. So I started lining up at a, one of the stalls that sells the deer burgers. And then he was like, no, no, that's shit. Come, come to this one. It's not the deer pl- yeah, burger not, place. Yeah. And I couldn't, or well, I obviously didn't get a chance to tell the difference. So he just took me to the stall. I ate deer burgers class. Juicy. Very nice. Um, so he took me to all the specific stalls where he knew were bangers. And the thing is, I probably hit 10%. That's it. 10%. And the fact that you can get deer burgers at three stalls, lemonades at three stalls, Kanafe, like 10 stalls there, yeah. they're everywhere. Um, there's only a few that pop out, which is just the one stall, that's it. Yeah. And I think that's what brings it down the most. That's definitely why I think it's overrated as well. Cause mm. to me, and I feel like when I look at those food influencers, they're getting food I didn't see. So yeah. I went this year and they're getting stuff I did not like see. Mm. Like where could this have been? Yeah. But the main thing is when you go around, as Kush said, you walk around, there's like 10 lemonade places. There's like 15 chip on a stick places. Yep. There's like 20 canafe places, 10 places that do like deer or camel burgers. So it's good, but it's not, there's not enough variety yep. to match the hype that it just gets so packed. Yeah. And I think we have to preface the food is good. The food's good. There's it no, is actually excellent. There's no doubt the food is good. Yeah. It's great. It well is pricey. Priced. And yeah. I think well, well priced given circumstances. Majority are well priced, absolutely. Yeah. Chips on a stick for ten bucks. But chip on a stick is always a scam. <laughs> yeah, it's so always a like- potato. <laughs> You're paying for one potato that's been like put in a spiral, and if they put it on a stick, a bit, a bit of salt here and there. Exactly, like, a bit of chicken wow. salt. But yeah, it, it is like the food is actually excellent. Like there some of the kanafe that I had, I think I went to the one that's always on TikTok, the guy's outside. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, that guy, that guy. Yummy, it, yummy. It, he does make a class kanafe. It was it, yummy. It was. <laughs> well, well marketed, I have to say. And I, yeah, I agree. The fact that it's too much of a variety, but I like to compare this to the, what's, what's the one that just happened? The Easter show. Royal Easter show. God, that is that is trash. We'll get to that later. Yeah, we'll go. Okay, we'll, we'll get, get to that. that we'll get to that. Later. Okay, I didn't know that was upcoming. We'll, we'll okay. reserve our thoughts for that one later. Okay, but yeah, I would agree. It is overrated. I still think the food is good, but overall the experience overrated. It's overrated the fact that these days is the crowd is just fucking huge. You're pretty much rubbing shoulders. With it's super there. packed. Yeah, you're waiting in line for thirty minutes. Bathrooms are hard to find, by the way. <laughs> That's another one. I've never gone to the bathroom there because. Exactly. Where are, where are they? I the one I had to ask around different stalls. I went five different stalls. Like yeah. brother, do you have a bathroom for me? And they're like, oh, you have to go to that restaurant, go to the back, and then yeah, because the all door. these stalls that are in front of regular shop, like normal exactly. nine to five shops, like a news yeah. agent, restaurant, etc. Yeah. So you can't actually access the amenities. No, nah, exactly. So there's luckily one restaurant yeah. was open. Found the bathroom. A line there as well to chuck a piss. Oh, would you Would you look at that? <laughs> Final thoughts. I think it's overrated. Also, the fact that do you know there's like Liverpool. Ramadan night markets? Yes, yes. There's yeah. other night markets, but this Lakemba one's getting all the hubbub and I don't yeah. think it's it's worth the hype. Not anymore, correct. Next one. Is Ice Spice overrated or underrated? <laughs> so so I, spice. Need, I needed to make sure you knew who Ice Spice yeah, was. Good. You played the song. So I played an Ice Spice song from the train station back here. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's boy class is a liar. From you. Point part two is what I played to you. That is that is some great subliminal work from you. I I had no idea, but then you popped the question, and I was like, okay, something's coming. Right, the reason why I've, I've added this as an overrated underrated because I've seen on TikTok mm. everyone is frothing ice spice. There's an ice spice filter or some shit. 
Interesting. Okay. And then all I'm seeing are people simping over Ice Spice and all this, all that. She's the one with the orange hair. Orange hair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, So what are your thoughts? I mean, her biggest song, which is the boys are liar or whatever. The boys are liar. (laughs) That's the one. Um, Say I'm good enough. It is catchy. It is a catchy song. I think that's it to it though. It's just a catchy song. And look, people have different music tastes. Some people love the catchy, the repeat bops, stays in your head for like a couple of weeks. Fair enough. Listen to that once. That was it. I think there's a, I forget the Drake song, but there's a Drake song about Ice Spice. Yeah, I, where did she come from? I feel like it's only pretty recent. Well, what, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean, what like, do you mean by that? Where did she pop into the pop I industry? Think she's an industry plant. No, I don't know. Yeah, just recent. Just recent, right? Yeah. And I feel like she's been in the business for a bit, but essentially grind her way up. Yeah, overrated is what I think. I think it's given absolutely given overrated. all the TikTok hype, given everyone's hype. Listen to a couple of songs. They're right. They're right. They're staple hip hops. Like, oh my god, the beat is something that you've heard so many times. Lyrics. Exactly. Definitely nothing to froth over. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So we're going overrated. With I'm going completely spice. overrated. Alrighty. Next one. Is free food at the office overrated or underrated? Underrated. Completely underrated. Under fucking rate. Actually, okay. Let's bring it. It depends where, which office you're at. <laughs> okay. So let's say your office on- yep. Tech startup. It's a corporate yeah. tech startup. On the Monday, you're getting an email saying free food on Thursday lunch. Yep. Are you frothing at the mouth? So <laughs> a couple, would you say breakfast or lunch? Is that is that a caveat? Yes, the type What's of food that we get. What's so, the difference? A bit of context. The corporate tech startup they offer free lunch every day, Monday to Thursday. Every day, Monday to Thursday, free lunch. Um, they also give you enough breakfast that if you're hungry in the morning, have it right and yeah, snacks. Snacks are throw out. Go on. Lunch is something that it has been going around in the office. <laughs> we're, we're considering paying now, so it's not that great. Lunch. The lunch we're going, we want to go out. Yeah, we want to go out and pay. Um, and yeah, I would attest that the lunch isn't that great, but the breakfast options that we're getting are real decent. Avocados, different types of toast. They've given us like, they've re- recently introduced this, which is a yogurt bowl. So you can put like muesli, pearls, all this kind of stuff pearls. to make your own yogurt. Yeah, wow. like kind of like the yochi mochi thing, right. but just with actual yogurt. Right. Oh, that's, that's huge. It's, it's not bad. That's huge. Yeah, it's actually really Fuck, nice. Maybe invite me over uh, Monday to Thursday, I'll come. Oh, <laughs> guest appearance, exactly. no problems. And it is class. It is actually something that I look forward to every day. Mm. Unfortunately, there are days where I come late and it's just run it's out. It's gone. It's gone. And they don't put it out again. It's actually a first in first serve kind of thing. It should be low key. Uh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Fair you enough. better come on time. Yeah, you better come on time. Yeah, that is true. I did come like 9.50. So <laughs> that is fair enough. But breakfast for me in my office, something I look forward All right, to. Let's say lunch. It's not that everyday lunch. It's, uh, you know, this Thursday we have a lunch and learn with Google or something, right? Mm. And they're bringing catered, I don't know, catered fucking Mad Max or something. Yep. Something you like. Yeah. Are you frothing at the mouth over? Are you are you going, you know, you weren't planning to go to the office this week. Yep. Are you now choosing to go to the office because yes. there's free food? Free food, man. It's the fact that it's free. A free $10 burrito. It, yeah. You're going, you're going to the office and back home. I'd say so, yeah. And I, it's not just that like the office, it depends. The office for me, it's a decent vibe. That is true. And so like if the food there itself, I'm getting catered food that's free, it's just a plus one for me. You know what that's I mean? That's true. <clears throat> I think, as you might be able to tell, I think it's overrated. Yeah. Okay. Because of like the whole commotion of like, oh, we've got free food this th- Friday. Let's go into the office. Mm. But then it turns out it's just fucking random catered food again that I could just pay for myself. So yeah, I think that's the difference. Our offices are, we get that lunch offered daily. Yeah. Whereas you guys don't, right? Yeah, no, nah, it's not every day. Yeah, I think that's the difference. So like if someone told me like, oh, they're offering Mad Max, that's outside of our lunch menu, I'd be like, oh. Yeah, and I'm also talking about, you know, Sen told the story yeah. all we see about his, what is it? Seagulls? Seagulls. Yeah, the seagulls. Where everyone's frothing at the mouth over, you know, free, you know, sandwiches or whatever. Free Krispy Kremes, to be honest, that was, I think. That's a shout. That's yeah, that's a shout. A shout. <laughs> Something like, you know, free sandwiches, free wraps. That's the typical catered food. Yep. I think it's av- average. I think it's overrated because I know a lot of people, they like, you know, when there's free food, they go to the office, you know, they make a whole bit. Maybe this is because I live far from the office. Takes me probably an hour and a half to get there, an hour and a half to get back. I think that's something worth considering. Yeah. Like if you're doing train, the cost probably amounts the same as what the food would have been. Exactly. So I might as well stay home, wake up a little later, yeah. enjoy the comfort of my own home. Make your just, own food. Just, yeah, make my own food or go out and buy the same, if not 
better food. Yeah. Still enjoy my time work from home. It's a good question because the food stuff I think is correlated or at least substantiated by additional factors, which is what's the vibe of the office? Exactly. What's the daily occurrence of food that the office providers are giving exactly. you? Exactly. Exactly. They're different things and I like it because for me it's underrated. For you it's overrated. It's overrated just simply because everyone, it yeah. changed everyone's plans. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Next one. Are Zinger boxes overrated or underrated? My God, Kush, these are underrated. There's only one answer. This is the nectar from the gods. You talk about nectar from the gods. This is the nectar from the gods. This is, this is- A KFC Zinger box. You open it up, what are you looking at? You're looking at a Zinger burger. These days you're looking at hot and crispy. Hot and crispy wings. No, they're pieces. They're um. Oh. I, think, I think they're boneless pieces now. They're not. Have they wick, changed? They're not it? wicked wings. Oh, I thought it was the wicked wings. You can get either, but the standard offering now is hot and crispy pieces. Right. Still class. You get a regular chips, potato and gravy. You get the bread roll. Is it? Do no, you get that? No, no, you don't get that. No, that's a different. You box. don't get a bread roll. You get that in the two or three pieces. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you get you know a little little can of drink to set you away. For ten dollars. No, what is it now? I think thirteen ninety five. Thirteen ninety five these days. Bit pricey than I last remembered. Mm. Still, v- most value for money. Absolutely. Because you go to uh, Macca's, right? Let's say you get a Big Mac meal, large, medium Big Mac meal. That's really like twelve bucks, thirteen Just bucks. Chips, Big Mac, and a drink. That's exactly. It, yeah. Whereas here, you're getting potato and gravy. You're getting class chicken. Yeah, the additional a zinger chicken, burger. That's huge. Just class. Swap out the pepper mayo for um, yeah. supercharged sauce. And the burger is oh my days! What a burger that has got to be. If we yeah. if we're talking about the best burgers, exactly. The burger itself is underrated as well. Fast food burgers. That is. The top tier burger, I would say. It also hits different night out, 1 a.m. You're here at KFC, you know, the exactly. city. You're walking home, you're going to fucking town hall <laughs> KFC. KFC. You're wow. waiting about 20 minutes for your Zinger box because there's a million other fucking drunk yep. people. Yep. You get it, you sit down on those stools they have and you just oh. rip into the fucking chips that are slathered in salt. You hit the Zinger burger that just God. oil just drips into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I will say KFC chips slightly decline these days. They're they've always declined. soggy. They're they've always, always soggy. been they've always been revered as top tier, but yeah. these days I think it's very common to get soggy. They're so soggy these days. It's actually disgusting. I hate KFC chips these days. It's just Not even if you order extra salt. Yeah, extra salt doesn't do anything. It's just always soggy. Like I'm yeah. putting Macca's chips over them because they're crispy now. That is true. The soggy factor, you got to get them fresh and it's very hard to get it's fresh. It's a little annoying, but like that's a little hiccup when you're talking about the box, the the constituents inside the exactly. box. It is, yeah. The unreal. value is just, that's what I can't get my head around. The, the value is unreal. Yeah. Cause you go anywhere else, like a meal of that. Subst- there are times I don't finish a Zinger box. I'm pretty sure a full sub as well from Subway is like 13 dollars Exactly. Actually, probably more. So. Exactly. You go get, you know, Thai food or something, like 18 bucks for a pad, pad CU or something. It's also this variety in it. Like this decent variety. This exactly. chips, this exactly. gravy, bro. And I do, as I said, there are times I don't finish it cause there's so much food. There's so sometimes. much food, yeah. But yeah. I, I like the idea of a Zinger box. I eat it. Sometimes I leave the burger to last. I'm like, ah, oh, I can't. can't eat I it. can't eat the burger. I've eaten the chips. What, what is it? How do you, how do you how do you attack the zinger box? How do I attack it? Um, if I know I'm going to finish it, I'll crack. You know, start with a chip. You know, I'm walking to my seat. You start with a couple of chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice, 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 nice. I um, I'll talk, I'll talk about wicked wings. That's my most okay. common experience. So there's three. Yeah. You crack a wicked wing. First one, just you, one. Yeah, just one. Okay. You salivate. Nice. And then you then you know chips throughout. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. Then you crack into the burger. You get. I'd say about halfway, maybe three quarters. Okay. You crack another wing. Okay. Right? And then you finish the burger because I don't want to end on bread. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, want yeah. the last taste of my mouth to be bread. Fair enough. And then last few bites is the last wing plus hopefully a chip or two. Yeah. Chips being dunked in the potato and gravy as well. Yeah, Mind absolutely. You. Would you, do you dunk any of the wings or the burger? In the I'm gravy? not a big fan of that. Do you do that? Nah, I, I tried it once. Uh, I tried both the wings and the gravy. Takes away from the wicked wings. Yeah. Burger, it can work, but the Zinger burger is already top tier. Like yeah. I don't think it needs anything else. It's for the chips primarily. Yeah, I think at the end I'm finishing off the last wing and I'm finishing off the potato and gravy. By the end, there's probably no chips left because I'm, I'm a fiend. I think for me, I start off with just a just a hint of a pe- peckish of the chips, you know, a few, yeah. four or five you here. You gotta, they're easy to consume. You're not committing to- Then I go for the two wings. Two wings? I go for the two wings. Go the two wings and I hit the burger. Finish the burger. Couple more chips. Hit the wings, and then it's like if I'm full, it's like, well, I'm not gonna finish the gravy and chips. Yeah. But otherwise, then it's the last resorts. They're coming in yeah. hot, the chips and the gravy. You got to finish on the small pieces. Because if the wings you, yeah, and the chips. If you want to eat something first, it has to be the burger and the wings. They need to be finished first. Yeah. They're the best part of the box. Yeah. Should we get a zinger box after this? Maybe we should. Get maybe zinger. maybe we should. Uh, <laughs> zinger box severely <laughs> underrated. Underrated. Next, are uh, coffee from cafes overrated or underrated? So I'm talking about you know those. Cafes where people are, I can only get coffee from these places or those cafes, you know, 
lines and people exclusively go and those sort of cafes. Not the local. Overrated. Thank you. Overrated. It is. I. There I'm was like Sen's not here. <laughs> yeah, uh, that that's a bunch of bullshit where people are like, oh, I can taste the finer differences between. I can only points. go to this this cafe on George Street. You know what I mean? Bunch of bullshit. Like, I don't think you're drinking coffee here for the taste. That might be controversial, but I honestly don't think you are. Like that, if you're if you're drinking a flat white for the taste, brother, you got you got some issues. <laughs> you, I'm a fan of the taste, to be fair. It, like it is better than cappuccino, absolutely. But no, if, of coffee in general, I'm a fan of the taste. But you're telling me you're primarily drinking it for the taste. I drink long blacks. <laughs> you're not drinking it for the taste, brother. No milk, no sugar. Yeah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> you like it? I like it. Yeah, I'm a fan. Okay, interesting. Okay, maybe I'm in the minority here, but I. But what I'm yeah, sorry, you continue. Yeah, I was just saying, I, I don't think like if someone is saying. I'm ordering only from this cafe because I can tell the taste difference between this and- The beans are roasted differently. Bullshit, bro. That is bullshit. Exactly. That is rubbish. And that's what I'm saying. You know, I drink Long Blacks. Yeah. Put my hand up there. But I drink Long Blacks from the coffee machine I have in the office. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. The one where there's a touch screen and I just tap it and it makes it. What would I go out of the office? Yeah. Go down to the cafe. Pay five bucks. Pay five bucks. Wait in line with all these other idiots. Yeah. For the thing that tastes the same. So I, I'm, I'm, with the, I'm in the same boat. In the office- we go up, put down your name for the coffee, flat white comes out. There's a barista there who helps out with the machine she, and she does it, have it. There are some times where they're like, oh, someone might be, who has that behavior? Like I'm gonna get a coffee from downstairs, you know? I'm gonna yeah. go down. And I'm like, I'll come with you because I don't I'll wanna do I'll come for the work. social experience. <laughs> yeah. The, the bludging experience. The bludging experience. And look, sometimes I will buy the coffee, but after I'm like, I paid five Every bucks single time I get a coffee with these people, I regret it. I regret it. Cause I get back to my desk. I've had that social experience. I'm like, could have just gone to the kitchen. I paid five dollars for this. Five dollars. Exactly. It's just not worth. It's just not worth it. Yeah, I, I've tried to make it now a thing for me. Like every time in the office, someone tells me a coffee, I'm like, oh, I've already, I've already got my cup here, man. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I start to reject them, but also I want to go. Just yeah, to waste. Time. I'll go down. I'll go down, and like I'll go five minutes. I've got to go back up. Yeah, I'm like just a quick social little chat, and then yeah. I'm back up. And the culture as well. I don't. I don't really like the culture of. Oh, I can only go to this cafe. It's just so pretentious. Or like, oh, this cafe down the road is better than this cafe on this street. Like, brother, it's all. I the like same comparing shit. it to the the way people view films. You know, it's like oh, I only view these art house indie films, and it's like, bro, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut You're up. not better than us. Shut, shut up. Shut who, up. Who, who are you? Yeah, shut up. Exactly. Shut up, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee from cafes overrated. Next one is Coachella overrated or underrated. So Coachella is happening or oh, did happen already? It's, it's, it's happening now? Might have been happened by the yeah. time this is out, <laughs> yeah. but happening. Severely overrated. What are the prices like? I actually don't the know. Prices are it. through the roof because this is the most iconic it's the biggest music, music festival, festival in the world. Right? The world. Yeah. But it has gotten to the point where it's only been, it's an influencer thing now. So yeah. people go there, yeah. you know, the whole thing, oh, what's my Coachella outfit? What's this? What's that? A lot of celebrities go. A lot well. of celebrities yeah. go. They, you know, they get their outfits, they pose, they take photos, mm. put on the Instagram, went to Coachella, this, all that. The price of tickets are at fucking premium. How much? Are we talking like thousands? Thousands. Really? With like general admission. God damn. Thousands. And so how many, it's a three day pass? I, I don't know. Yeah. I think it's three days, but to be fair, all the biggest artists go, but people go because of the social status of going to Coachella. Going to Coachella. Oh, I, I think that's the case, hundred percent. Like some of the artists there will do their own. Yeah. Like whatever, their own public thing. Yeah. Without even going to Coachella. So I agree that. So you can go to somewhere, which is probably like $200 at yeah. max because this guy's high value. Coachella, yeah, I agree. Over it. Every time I see the TikToks and stuff, it's like, this is what I wore to Coachella. Yeah, see, know? that's what I mean. That's yeah. the culture of it. Yeah. This is what I wore to Coachella. Not who did I see at Coachella? Yeah. What music did I hear at Coachella? It's what did I fucking wear at Coachella? Like, here's my outfits. And it's like, I don't like- That's why Fire Festival happened. Yeah, it's a music it like festival, this. not a fucking fashion festival. Exactly. It's turned into a fashion show. Yeah. Overrated. There you go. People are making money out of it, but yeah. you gotta respect it. But I agree. Overrated. Disgustingly overrated. All right, we've got two more. We alluded to this one earlier. Is a Royal Easter show overrated or underrated? Overrated. Overrated. Overrated as shit. Holy crap. I saw videos this year of the food. One of them is the Elvis burger, which I think is two donuts and what was advertised as a chicken schnitty in between. Yeah. What you get is just a chicken filet burger. That's it. Oh my God. Like yeah. the one you get from like a KFC yeah. standard burger. Exactly. And that's not even like fried to perfection. Yeah. And apparently people are like, yeah, it tastes nice, but it's $21. Fuck. Something just for the like burger. That. Just for the burger. That's the food at the Easter show. That is cooked. Like, bro, you know what I it. saw? Gummy bears and chips. Yeah. Oh, I did. And someone was like, "Oh, I'll taste if this is if this is actually good." Like, of course it's shit. What is that about? <laughs> yeah. Who's putting gummy bears and chips? There's cheese on a gummy bear. 
that is that is actually rank. That is that is disgusting, and that is probably also like twenty bucks. I reckon. Exactly, and then fucking everything else comes on a stick. <laughs> yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Chip on a stick. Did Corn you see the on a stick. One? The They're a fucking burrito on a stick. No, no, no. It's the God. What's the what's the floss called? The pink floss. Very floss. Very floss. That's the burrito, and they put that too, stuff fair. inside. Yeah, I get Which you. is like cool, but is, is someone eating the whole thing? Like you're taking one bite of me, like I'm done. Yeah, that's a much. split in half. Share between two, three. It's like $20, 20 dollars. Outrageous. The food is ridiculous. You know, I went last year. I got garlic bread on a stick. <laughs> what? What the fuck? How do you even do that? So you know the <laughs> rolls of garlic bread you get from the shops, the <laughs> yeah. frozen ones? Oh, okay. So they just coated that in batter, <laughs> put on a stick and deep fried it and charged me about 15 bucks. Jesus Christ. And the rides. Okay. They're actually quite, they're, they're okay. You don't have, fuck me. You know what happened to me last year when I went? What? I didn't go this year, save myself from this. Yeah. So last year I went to the East show went with my missus and a couple of her friends. Mm. Went around midday, let's say. Yeah. Plenty of time. Went there, obviously hungry, got some fucking things on a stick. Yeah. Um, went to see the animals. That took a while, whatever. Yeah. Went to see all the stuff. And then now it's time for what I have come for. The yeah. games, you know. Mm. Not the biggest ride person, but I'll, I'll, I'll happily go on a ride. Yeah. Then we decided, you know, we'll go on a ride first then we'll go in the games. Brother, you have to buy a fucking, so wait in line and then we get this right. Then it turns out you have to buy a card from a separate fucking Jesus. place to like preload a card so you can tap it. So oh. like you have credits basically. So you use the credits for the ride. Yeah. Wait about like half an hour to an hour for this ride. You know, go up, whatever ride was good. Go back down. Things start close. Oh, so oh fucking days. wait in line for all this thing, for everything else to start closing. Luckily on our way out, yeah. some of the arcade games still open. So we still got to play a bit, but like- The rides, bro. That's, that's Why am I waiting an hour? Yeah, that is, to be fair, I think like most rides, most places that do the rides thing, it's pretty terrible, the experience. Like I know that we've been to the ones in America and it's like the wait, it's, it's so long. You're in line yeah. for like two to three hours. Yeah. You eventually get to do it. And then I think they charge an additional for the fast lane. Yeah. It's still a waiting. It's one hour for a fast lane. Seriously. Yeah. It's one hour for that. Wow. So it's like, there's no point to all these rides, but yeah, Sydney used to show. Every year, same thing. You see a couple of animals, you see some cunt cut it's some gimmick. wood. Absolute gimmick. Yeah, uh, that, gimmick. I, out of all the ones we discussed, guys, the most overrated is the Sydney Easter show. Sydney Easter show is so overrated. Yeah. Alrighty, last one. Is holy moly overrated or underrated? Underrated. So this is the, um, what is this, Kush? It's the it's like a, indoor putt putt. Putt putt golf with but a bar. Yeah, but it's yeah, tailored for adults. So it's got a bar, yep. it's themed. You know, there's Simpsons ones, there's all this, all yeah, that. food as well, pizzas and whatnot. Exactly, Luna Park theme. You can host oh, events there as exactly. well. Exactly. Yep. It's connected with strike bowling. Correct, yep. Sometimes karaoke places. And the old- Sometimes uh, escape rooms. Lardy darts. Lardy darts. <laughs> Shout out you, Darlinghurst. Um, underrated. I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I actually, every time I go there, I have a great experience. Every time I go there, I'm like, it's going to be the same. I enjoy it. It's a top tier activity place for adults. Oh, 100%. And it's hard to find places like that. Especially when you can book for like 10, 10 plus people. Yeah. And you guys are having drinks. You're doing a little competition. With yeah, exactly. The a little on. friendly competition. Yeah. Play some games. Every time I go there, I always change up the way I attack the course. You yeah. know, sometimes I'm like, no, I'm just going to get the the best as best as I can do. Sometimes they'll be like, no, I'm only going for hole in once. If I fail, I fail, yeah. I'm done. So the fact that you can do that, class work. Very fun it. experience. You can work, family, friends, do whatever. 100%. Famously, that was our last round of um, pub golf. Oh yeah. Where we, you know, we did nine holes of pubs <laughs> and then we played actual golf. Played. <laughs> And then, you know, we're all so drunk that we barely played and then right, ran home, but fun, fun experience. Fun Very experience. fun experience. Dude, it's the, the also the the design. They don't they don't skimp out on the money. Like the, mm. the, the courses are actually pretty decent. Yeah, oh. it's like value. I don't know if value is a strong word, yeah. but like you can tell where the money's going. Exactly. And they have a great membership reward system, which is like next time you're here, you get one, one hole in us oh, for lovely. free. Class. And kids can go during the day. Uh, yeah, it's not restricted as well, which is good stuff, right. man. So rate it. Re underrated, highly underrated. 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 Holy moly, good stuff. Good stuff. That brings us to the end of another episode. And the second episode with this duo. Duo, we're bringing it back. Kushagra here. Exactly. If you want this for the rest of the episodes, do let us know. Exactly. We're happy to accommodate that request. Absolutely. And if you want to hear about if you want this show to just be overrated and just sounds, do let us know again. And if you want me to piss every episode, <laughs> of course, do let us know. And please let us know how that pissing 
form was, you know. It, it went fast, it went quick, but perhaps there's more to dissect. So do let us know about that. I'm sorry well. if I assaulted your ears with, <laughs> with my urine, but that's part of the game. And if you want to hear more fantastic sounds of the urinal, go to our Spotify, <laughs> go to our Apple Podcasts, go to our YouTube Shorts and TikToks. Please check out our Shorts. They're, uh, we like to post a couple of clips a day and uh, we want to post the best bits of our segments. Support us in the comments. Exactly. Support we, us in the we're comments. getting some um, <laughs> dicey comments there, so go over. We won't, we won't say them. We won't say them. But you can have a look. If you want to add on to them, mm. do it. Well, go ahead. But if you want to support us, also comment there. Yeah. And if you don't, then you're potentially racist and supporting those guys in the comments. But so. that's neither here nor there. That's on you. We'll yeah. see you guys next week. Next week.